Welcome back to the latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. We begin with great work by the Mule goalies to stop breakaways against Dickinson, Ellenson, Irvin with one of her 13 saves, and against Gettysburg, Stephen Krug with one of his 12 saves. At number 11, softball against her sinus, Mule's trailing 2-1, bottom of the sixth, two outs bases loaded, and it's senior Dara DeMilo coming off the bench to deliver this two-run go-ahead pinch hit single. We jump into number 10 with sophomore Shira Gamson, who set personal bests in the triple jump 35 8 and a half, and in the long jump 16 10 and 3 quarters, winning both events at the DeSales Tri Meet. At number 9, senior Wyatt Malia against Gettysburg spins one way, then spins the other way to score this goal. Malia now the second all time leading scorer in men's lacrosse history with 146 career points. Women's lacrosse against Dickinson at number 8, 229 remaining, and it's junior Jillian Kubikowski scoring this game tying goal, her fourth goal of the game. At number 7, what's the best way to tie a stolen base record? How about with a steal of home? Against her sign is senior Sophia Cicchetti with this straight steal of home for her school record tying 32nd stolen base of the season. She also stole bases in both games of the doubleheader against Gettysburg and now holds the school record with 34 swipes on the season. At number 6, we go to the kitchen with men's lacrosse junior Tyler Kitchen. Time running down in the first quarter against her sinus, he scores this goal off the pass from Jack Bill. And then in the Mules' overtime upset win at 15th ranked Gettysburg, it's Kitchen going behind the back to score this goal. At number 5, this is men's golf sophomore Alex McCauley teeing off, and imagine that this drive gets close to the hole. How close? This close. McCauley hitting the short putt for a birdie 2 en route to shooting an 80 at the Franklin and Marshall Invitational. At number 4, baseball against Dickinson, trailing 8-6, two outs, bottom of the 8th inning, and it's senior Ryan Riccio hitting this over the fence and left for his first career home run, tying the game at 8-8. It was part of a 4-for-6 game for Riccio. And we go back to back with the home runs, this time it's the Zack attack. Senior Jillian Zack hitting this three-run homer against Gettysburg. Part of a record-tying seven RBI performance, Zack only the second player in program history to drive in seven runs in the game. The Mules defeated Gettysburg 6-2 in the first game, 15-5 in the second game, their first doubles header sweep ever at Gettysburg. At number two, the best pitching performance in the career of senior Ryan Friesen. He threw seven innings, allowing only two hits and striking out nine as baseball picked up its first Centennial Conference win of the season at FNM. And our number one play of the week, 40 seconds into overtime, it's freshman Jack Bill taking the pass from freshman Chase Cusco and scoring to give the Mules a 12-11 win at 15th ranked Gettysburg. Bill was named Centennial Conference Player of the Week. His 33 goals this season are the second most ever by a Muhlenberg freshman, and he has our number one play of the week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more great plays next week. Go Mules!